Jesus, no Jesus, no life. No Jesus, no life. Me bajo cash and no Jesus, no life. And now, tenth November, twenty twenty one. Someone gonna say is tenth eleven twenty one. Gonna not take it on tuition or lottery. I remember some we are just reminding ourselves of the dates. I watch all a high soon soon 98.7 FM. Bonzu, Madame Bonzu, Le Tomaze, Bonzu, Miss Way. She my pair, Henry Arthur Kote Blanks in Junior. You can simply call me Arthur K for sure. Okay. Yes, the hidden. We are on. Today we want to review secret to you. We want to voice. We want to let you know the hidden in the scripture. We watch your any Bible na yanka si yekin kaino. Enyo me bi wohokra biya yehinta se yene. Rasha and you be din komo ofia ha na enkoma ye be die me pacho fre wunua na onu zo fre ni nua na onu zo fre ni nua we want to have a serious discussion in the house you have to call your brother or your sister to also call a friend to also call a friend to also invite a friend on the champion the 98.7 you can simply go or log on to the facebook jesus dola is Sun Sum TV. S U N S U M TV. Search us live and we are on. Jesus. No life. No life. No life. And I don't pay me be didn't come on. Now, and as soon no. Yes, yeah, 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 Me mum and then me pass it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be big like that. Songs of protest. No queen I mean, senior who do I have in you now? You should senior have in you now. Those of us, every Christ that was movie that we've watched, we see him to be a white man. Christ came in and set us free. 
every storybook that we've read about the Christ that we all talk about, the Holy Spirit is now in we all see to be a white man. And we know Satan to be a black man. That is in quotes. <laughs> Actually, I'm making an army the battery one. Where some of you say, "Hey, you know, yes, we're funny. I just share a good one, you know." You know, say, "I just go and oh, you're not pakoko, oh, you're bruni." You see, and now you're trying to say, "You see, there be any other boy with them." I'm passing Kiana to yes, we cry no. What's the young guy now for? No cry, Michael Jackson, who you know. Glad to meet you, Richard. Remember me, Mr. Michael Jackson, Crefri, Manzo, and how you are, Kuru baby. The late Michael Jackson, someone uh, let us get to knew about it. That uh, Michael Jackson was a relative at a uh, Manzo over here in Ashanti region. Is it about your end and command of bed day? Sam your mom when you are not in a and the yin and you who are the crop pot ya a hinta because a mean fa and your men see what oba a hana ye can kind a beda to say a b c d there's no letter j when you get to read from a look at that late ain't it the bia you can't yes a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w s y z you got your abidance what can you let us be brave you know but you can't catch yourself there is one comparison that we do that we all knew about no jesus and you can say eh and your mommy you know and uh, when you come to Ghana, Uhubi, Uko Israel, Uhubi, I apo to be brave and have a precursor. It's natural among these two nations. And let me will fear her. Time your mind when you learn, you say, There be your person discovered. You want to dip straight into the scripture of God. Oh, yeah. Jesus, no. Now it's okay. Yes, it's Ghana for you. Yeah, yes, it's Israel for us. For we know our back roots. Going to the back roots, we realize that we all come from Israel. So I have here in the house Israelites united in Christ. Israel united in Christ. www.israelunite.org you gonna get information out of there. I want to make questions. Especially, I want the pastors to ask a lot of questions on the show. The Holy Spirit is now in full control. You are yourself all your own thing, bro. For you be teaching about three. Yet here is say. Some of you can say. Captain of your heart, for me, no, 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 Captain Isaac of your heart, Bosheba. Anybody can say, Boy, because a Bosheba said he was the one that was about to be sacrificed. It's three cousins, you can say, Bosheba. Me what the king Malaki, right? If I get your name right. Malakai. Malakai. Yes, sir. Okay. I was away. And your name, how do you pronounce it? Dikin? Dikin Abiel. Abiel. Yes, sir. I used to drink. Is Abiel part of the angels that we got, you know? You said part of the angels? One of, <laughs> one of David's mighty men. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a head there, if I try to join you in line, 
sanyo ma we nyina ne na mpese ni ye hunu once eh eh let me welcome you people good morning to you all good morning good morning i want to say marching 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 ah mo want to say mo want to say that had be me cause i want to say say me ho ye me ho ye what is saying? <laughs> <Mahoya. laughs> well, we say shalom. Most high and Christ bless. Come again. We say shalom. Shalom. Most high and Christ, Christ bless. bless you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, uh-huh. Let us know when we can start. Hey, watch out, bro. Hey, Susu TV. We are live. Let me show you what I'm on. Oh my brother, Jesus. Let me show you what I'm on. Oh my brother, Jesus. Let me show you what I'm on. And then, you know, this one is so popular nowadays. First, it used to be no popular. This is a Ghana phone. You know, you know, I'm not going to say anything. You know, I'm not Most of Ghanaian men nowadays are living off their beer. Is there a secret on that? Absolutely, there is. Oh, the really? laws of God is the secret. We're supposed to be keeping the commandments. Nineteen point seven. Uh, I guess we'll just do a formal introduction real quick. We're okay. Israel United in Christ. We're here to teach you people of Ghana that there's a special people here in this land, in this country, and they are not what we know today as Ghani. How you say Ghani? Ghanians? They Ghanians. are the children of Israel. They are of the diaspora. Those that were scattered from the land of Israel, but are of the people of our forefathers, Jacob, the Israelites. They're right here in, in Ghana. That's why we're here. Ah, indeed. So are you saying that all Ghanaians are from Israel? What we're saying is those that were, their their descendants or their relatives were a part of the slave trade that happened. Remember mm-hmm. the transatlantic slave trade? Okay. Those people, those people that descend from that, that their families were a part of that, they are the children of Israel. That's fulfillment of prophecy in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter. You want can we read that real quick? Yeah. Let's go to that. We can we can do that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. We're gonna start with chapter twenty eight. What we're showing right now is one of is the biggest secret in the world. Biggest secret. This is the biggest secret. This has been hidden from us. Not just a nano pen Exactly. What's happened is They've told the true children of Israel that you know what you're not them. You're Africans. You're Ghanaians. You're uh, Americans, African Americans, Haitians, Dominicans. When really they are God's chosen people. This history has been taken away from us to keep us away from God's word. But we we coming back. We bringing it back now. You got that? Deuteronomy twenty eight. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy twenty eight, verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what happened, the history, the historic events that took place, and this this is the Bible, so we know it to be true, right? These things happened to us because we broke God's commandments. We were warned way back in during the time of Christ in Luke 21 and 20. That we would be scattered when the Roman armies came, we fled down in here to Africa. Okay, God told us for our disobedience, He would bring these events upon us. Jump to verse sixty-eight, real quick, and I want you to tell me who did this happen to? What people did this occur to? Go ahead. Verse sixty-eight, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God said that He would bring the children of Israel into Egypt again with ships. Now, wait a minute. What nation of people went into slavery by way of ships? When it says Egypt, give me that real quick in Exodus, the 20th chapter. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Everyone must open up their spiritual eye and read the Bible as it is. We have to stop letting denominations and religion guide our thoughts on what the Bible says. We have to go to the Bible and read it as is and do it. Right? Okay. Yeah. Exodus 20 verse 2 Read I am the Lord thy God Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt Out of the house of 
bondage. Egypt was synonymous, meaning the meaning was slavery. When we went to, when, when we went into slavery by way of slave ships to Egypt, it's talking about going into slavery. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God said we would go into slavery again, but this time, read. With ships. This time you would be taken with slave ships. Now, brother, let me ask you. What people on the face of this earth went into slavery with slave ships? Who did that happen to? Us. What well, we know today as as the God, am I saying it right? Ghanaians? Ghanaians, yeah. Ghanaians. So called African Americans, Dominicans, Haitians, all over the world, we all experience the same slave trade. Why is that? Because God said if we didn't keep his commandments in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, that he would bring curses upon us. And it happened. We went into slavery with slave ships. And when we got to the destinations on them slave ships, what happened? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Come on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond woman. Somebody help me out, bro. Who did this happen to? Where we were sold, we were taken on ships and sold to another people. Whose history is that? That's our history. Our ancestors were the ones that were taken on taken them slave ships and sold to another people as slave men and slave women. This is a complete indicator of who the children of Israel are today. But for some reason the churches won't teach us or show us this thing. And you know what's crazy about that, Deacon, is there's landmarks still here in Ghana that proves that. You've been to Elmina Castle? Mm -hmm. Elmina Castle still there. That's the slave fort. Yeah. That's a slave fort where they took the children of Israel and brought them into captivity. Mm. So the proof is still there. So now what we're doing is we're, 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 we're bringing it out according to the scriptures to show you that we are the children of Israel. Exactly. When you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, these are indicators of who the people are. Because if it didn't happen to the people, if it didn't happen to them, they are not the children of Israel. Only one people on the face of this earth have this history. And that's you. That's your people. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 46. Let me finish this first. Oh, yes, sir. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. No one was able to save us out of the conditions of slavery. No man was able to deliver us from that. Only Christ, our King, will be able to get us out of this condition. Give me the, uh, verse 46. Verse these, are, these are clear indicators showing you who the Israelites are today. It's time to wake up. Go ahead. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So when you read Deuteronomy 28, God says these curses were going to be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. This is a simple process of elimination. Who went into slavery with slave ships? If your people did not go into slavery with slave ships, you cannot claim the heritage of Israel. What we're showing you all here in Ghana today, this is talking about you. We were all separated. We were all, the diaspora took us all over the world as prophesied in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And upon thy seed forever. Come on. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth. We was taken from Ghana. We was taken from Nigeria. We was taken from all the west coast of Africa, the gold coast, and scattered all over the four corners of the earth. Go ahead. Even unto the other. Even unto the other. Come on. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. This is where we were taught different religions, whether it be Islam, whether it will be called today uh, Christianity. How is it in Christianity we have so many denominations? Baptist, Pentecostal, Seventh Day Adventist, Episcopalian. It, the list goes on and on. Jehovah Witnesses. There's all these different denominations, but God never gave us denomination. God never gave us religion. You either did what he said or you didn't. So what's happened today? We've been stripped from this heritage. We've been told that Jesus Christ was a white man. That Jesus Christ had nothing to do with you. He's not your heritage. He's not your people. He just died for you and that's it. We've been stripped of our history. We've been told that our history begins with slavery. We're a much greater people than that. We're a much greater people than what the, what do you say, the Bruni have taught us. Oh, Bruni. Oh, Bruni, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Deacon, uh, hold on. Yes, sir. Let yes, me sir. translate it a bit to our people. Got right? you, got you. Yes. Uh, 
Dear Kenyan, I say, eh, uh, Dickin Abel, right? Yes, sir. Eh, uh, HHM, I say, a name, Oba, ye, Yankupumun, and Kiyan, you soon be say, we ye, Pentecost, we ye, Methodist, we ye, you are witness, we ye, assemblies, we ye, Muzama, this to Christo Church, we ye, we, but ye, ye, na, no, ye, sin, ye, na, no, ye, Jew for. O ko Bible ni mwa. Ena na wo kotu from Deuteronomy. Mo se wuma eto su dum. Eti eh, edu yonu mwa tre. That's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, I realize that uh, yeba endi ni ekan. Verse 64. Ena na o che che me ye wunu sa nyoma we nina ane se. Ena no nyanko pon tri mo pon ene bo tayi nina ano. Yama ye wunu se ase nyanko pon kwa oye u broni. Ne mo nyanko pon no onye broni. Ye nyina no ye ye nyankopon ma ye jiu fo enti gana fo no ade ba kwa e ma ye hu ye bibi fo ye hu ye hu ye eni ba bi e jina ne se na ye fro bibi se slave trade en kan ne no na ke wo nko asum se 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 age ye ho but we are still under slave trade because we go to these people to borrow money from them right <laughs> yes enti enen no sa ebra na nko asum wo ho no en na e ye captain isaac HMO, and so the source of me who said, Oko Kipkusa, a mina castle. And caneno, Nanka sassy trade no honor, you won't quash someone. Sadia and yet Chinko for people could go if you are so ho. Emmy, you who said, Debbie, eh, and your man in ya 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 no, ya toy and dada. A war a pamnum, a ye as someone never said, Bemo, and in a bemi in ya ya ho, a toy and also said, Debbie, umpa. Say ye crucifo, and a gala for yin and ye becano cra, ye vampire, ye see in ye is right for. Adam and Sephone. <laughs> That's what we say. Right. It is Adam and Sephone, dear. And no one never was saying, My Nico, hey, ye chi. And you go to a year to Trimo Chapter 28. And a near King Kansas the phone. And now, Captain Isaac, as I dear call Exodus. Captain, what was the scripture? Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2 explains that Egypt is synonymous with. Now, the Muslim woman talks to me, you know, it's a do no, no. Nijimu mienu. That's Ezra chapter 20 verse 2. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, na, na, uh, Captain, a uh, really, Captain. So, read small and then let me translate on yes, that. Yes, okay. Uh, before you read, uh -huh. I want to bring something. Because he All make right. a statement. Okay. I'm thinking Malachi. He make a statement. <laughs> okay. About how the, he and Ghana, mm -hmm. they tell your guys, Jesus is white. Who, do you know huh? who's, who's this? Jesus. So this, this is Jesus. Picture. Where's your camera? Oh, it, that, your camera? that's the camera. Uh, so, uh, this yes, is what is yes, this? So this is Jesus. Just, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Here in Ghana, they give you this picture. They yeah. tell you it's uh, Jesus. Along with sculpture, <laughs> <laughs> mommy. They give you this picture. They tell you it's Jesus. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. it's Jesus. Now, now I got a challenge. I got a challenge uh -huh. for every single pastor uh -huh. that's listening right now. Uh -huh. Just for that, tell him that. Okay, just well, for that. Oh, wait, no, oh, to, I got a challenge. Oh, to, oh, to, oh, to a yes, uh -huh. my challenge is this uh -huh. well, for a pastor to call to show me in the Bible that Jesus is white, right. and then I'm going to show you Jesus is not white. Okay, say, see, Anna, me bacho, mom, we are a software. No, my me, we are a software, and bacho, a quenyan in a fray. It be a Bible, my baby, I actually say, Yajim Kwano, Christ Jesus. Oye fita ano chere e o chere ni mu me fa cho oye sofu na wuti ya ma me fa na ma ni ntuja o si fre ne chere ye no no so a chere e prove a chere se Jesus is not white no Jesus is black I'm going to prove that in the Bible okay so you said I should give a cha it's a challenge it's right? a challenge okay Any so pastor. if you are a pastor listen to us now you can call yes show us in the scripture. Let us know. Now, before because the call. Today we are, we are learning. We yes, are learning. We are learning. <laughs> before the call, I'm okay. going to show you. He's okay. not he's not white. He's actually black. Oh, before, really? Before, yes. I'm in the scripture. Show, in the Bible, yes. All right. Let's go. Now, hold on that. Hold on. Give me John 7 verse 16 first. All right. Okay. I'm going to show you something. All right. No problem. There's a difference between today the doctrine of learning. the church today and we the Israelite like what we're teaching. This is John chapter 7 verse 16. Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. So Jesus said his doctrine is God doctrine because God is the one who sent Jesus. Go okay. to 832. John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So Jesus said you shall know the truth, right? The truth shall make you free. What is the truth? 
What is the truth? What is the truth? What color is Christ? What is the doctrine of Christ? I'm going to show you the truth. What color the doctrine of Christ is? I even have a first call. Okay. <laughs> All uh, right. Revelation chapter 1. Okay. Revelation chapter 1 and verse, verse one. 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The, revela the, the word revelation means to reveal. Yeah. The revealing yes. of Edisem. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. To reveal what yes. Jesus Christ looked like. Yes. Verse, uh, you finished that? Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So Jesus Christ showed the revealing of himself to John to show us what must come to pass in the last days what must come to pass because Jesus know in the last day they was going to change his color they was going to give you this guy mm -hmm. this guy is not Jesus <laughs> Jesus know they was going to give you this guy Dicky just hold on that, let yes. me pick this car okay, okay. Uh, hello good morning uh, good morning oh, uh, my, my, my boss alright uh, who am I speaking with you are you are you are you are you are you are, you are talking to yourself Okay, Yasafo, we are listening to you. Thank you very much. First of all, let me greet all listeners to Sumer FM and the man talking right now. All right. I, I don't know him, but the way he's talking, I know he know the Bible very much. So okay. let me greet him. Eh? All right, okay. And my uh, colleague, uh, Kiedu, is hoping we do louder. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Yao. Yao. Aha, aha, aha. Yanko. Thank you very much. Aha. Let, let me ask this question. Okay. The one, uh, the Jesus mother, is he uh, white or black? And if someone gave birth to a child, if let's say, for instance, you are suffering from a Ghanaian, and a black, uh -huh. if better, my child will also be black or white. So if Jesus is white, Yes, it's red. I don't understand it. Oh, because Jesus is from where? Uh, Jesus, uh, Mary Magdalene was uh, saying, hey, my English, you. Yeah, yeah, can you see? 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 Yeah, can Say yes, Christo, yes, Bruni, so you be no. Say, you think Mary Madeline, who yes, Christo, Bass, as you so. Obia, you too, say you might consider a child and gave that to Jesus Christ. And Mary was in which country? Now Mary of the Crobasso. And a Mary crown, or your Bruni, and after no, you be beneath. Got it. Yes, Christo, now Mary, now no subay, no crampon. Yes, Christo, no, or you be beneath, and after no, you be beneath. If you have a dear mother, that is a new city. Me, who are the yes, Christo, now, Captain, who fear they. Yeah, Mr. Meda CP. Okay. He wants to know uh -huh. the one that gave birth to Jesus. Mary. Mary. Yes. Is Mary a white woman? Mary is black. Mary is black. According to the scriptures. Let me read ah. the scriptures. Okay. No, no, no. Before you read that, no, no, no. Let me prove my point first. Okay. I'm gonna answer his question, but I want to prove my point okay. first. Okay. All right, okay. Go to go to uh where you, go back to where you are. I want to put my tell him I'm gonna put my point first. And okay. then I'm gonna answer his question. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yes, uh Dick uh Malachi. So say up, so I'm gonna trim. show him he asked a question, is okay. Mary is is black or white? Yes. So let me put my point, then he's gonna then that's gonna say his question. <laughs> All right, okay. No uh -huh. Okay, so now we're in verse Revelation chapter one. We're gonna jump to verse fourteen. Where's verse fourteen? I'm okay. gonna read to you the color of Jesus Christ. So if Jesus Christ is black. That means his mother is almost also black, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what color Jesus Christ is. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Jesus Christ's hair and his beard were white like wool. When you look at this texture of woolly hair, who got woolly hair? You got woolly hair. I got woolly hair. This guy, give me the picture. Where's the picture? This guy do not have woolly hair. This guy got straight hair. This guy got straight hair. Black yeah. people have woolly hair. This guy don't have woolly hair. Yeah. Read. Yes. Yes. This guy got straight hair. Yes. Black people got woolly hair. Yes. Exactly. Read. Okay. Uh, and 
Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank, he drank wine, read. And his feet. And his feet. Now, John, look at Jesus Christ's feet, read. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is brown. Brass is brown. Jesus Christ, when he looked at it, he was a brown man, read. As if. They burned in a furnace. Anything you burn on fire is become black. That's right. The Bible said Jesus Christ is dark just like you, my brother. <laughs> right. That's how dark oh. he is. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Read that again for him. That's what okay. he said. And Hold his on. feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. When you burn brass, what's going to become? Black. If you get if you get a hand of full white rice shoot on the fire, it become black. Jesus Christ is a very, very dark skinned man. So where the hell they got this guy from? This guy, they give it to you in slavery. Okay. That's uh, when they give you this guy. Okay. Jesus, so so now my so uh -huh. now yeah. to answer his question, uh -huh. yes. If Let's Jesus Christ well is that. black, that means uh -huh. his mother is also black. Mary is a black woman. Mary is not a white woman. They give him that picture in slavery. Because in slavery, you was not allowed to read. You was not allowed to write. Whatever you learn, they give it to you. you the slave master give it to you, which is the white man. What you call him again? Obroni. Oh, 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 Obroni. They give that to us. But that's not what Jesus looked like. Jesus Christ is a black man, just like you. Just like me, my brother. Now, you said, Diki Malachi, Eken, and he said, Jesus Christ, ne mamen, oye tuntum. Oye ni petuntum. Oye bruni. Na, dear man, you know, se se obi wan kwa sumwa. Dear Uli Dano, do or no a take you over ahead of you all or no control? You know, one no na a me who say, Way na ye, way na can. Ain't it you, you are being controlled? Ain't it, me bacho, what's in your wolf, you know, near can kind a decent that's Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen. Ain't it, me bacho, wow, bebaso, no, oh no, okay, chin my ye, eh, and then ye de chin ye, Juma, a ye a decent tea Ninchichemu do nine. That's Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen. Okay, can a maya mu se a dear be a white yashen so dear a chre se yes wa ye hunu ni se in coat the hening for nino a de trimi yet in ten it trimi n sa say yet in ten ne mu in trimi ne wase a yen chrewa and uhe munswa a be before ye trimi na yen chrewa yos bruni be a trimi ye no e musane a street, a ye tenting. Yes. Yen ye de any de a yen chrewa. Ain't it wa we tie me eno? Usu be a o scripture no or bible no just open it. Read it up from Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen. Let us all learn. We are learning. In we fact, are learning. <laughs> now, my brother. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hey, give me that scripture. Okay, yeah, let yeah. me let me pick this call. Then okay, another call? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Me but you didn't maybe I can say free. Ah, Abra, yen tio, Racho. Lanny, she, Nanny, who has said, Jan Slim, who is it? Uh huh. Now there's a walking car, Eddie, some tea in the right? Ah, okay. Ah, ha, yet. Lanny, three, Nanny, who First of my, they are working kind, you know. They are now no ho. I think it's been in me what Johnson and see a teddy or cafe, so you be in you. Okay, okay, made us it. All right, so what she's also saying that it's really confirmed. The scripture really confirmed that that Jesus that we are talking about is a black man. That's right. That's what she said. That's what she says. Okay. All right. Okay. Hallelujah. Let me bring out a scripture real quick. This is concerning Mary. 
Yeah, yeah. Matthew, yes. Okay. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Okay. Uh, 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 Matthew, uh-huh. Matthew chapter 2 verse yeah. 13. Yeah. The verse. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Right, so why did the angel instruct Mary mm-hmm. and Joseph to take the child and flee to Egypt? Who was in Egypt? What people? At this time, what did the people look like in Egypt? They look like you. These were black people. When they fled into Egypt, these were black people that were there. Why? So that they could hide amongst the people that look like them. Herod was a white man. When you understand the Romans and the Herodians at that time were uh, coming against the, uh, the Israelites. They were persecuting us in slavery. So they fled. They fled from Israel into Egypt to hide amongst the people that looked like them. Mary was not white. She was black, as black as you and I. That's scriptural right there. Matter of fact, also another point. Get um, Matthew's, the first chapter. Matthew's, read Matthew's 1 and 1, and then we're going to jump to verse 6. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. This is the genealogy of Jesus Christ, okay? What we're reading right here, it goes through his fathers. Jump down to verse 6. And Jesse begat David the king, Mm -hmm. and David the king begat Solomon. Begat who? Solomon. Of her that had been the wife of Uriah. So we see in Jesus Christ's lineage, his father is King David as well as his son, Solomon. Let's see what Solomon looks like according to the Bible. This history, this information has been hidden from our people for too long. They've taken this away so you won't know who you really are. Read that real quick. Songs of Solomon chapter 1, read verse 1. This is the Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 1. Everyone should have their Bibles open, reading along, looking at these scriptures that have not been shown to our people. Read. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. This is Solomon's writings. This is Solomon's book. Read verse 5. Watch this, brother. I am black. What did Solomon say? I am black. What did he say? I am black. Solomon said, I am black. Not white, not yellow, not red. I am what? I am black. This is your forefather right here, bro. <laughs> we are reading about our people. This is oh. our history. Yes, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, well, give it the Bible verse. Let someone read it out. No problem. So we get to know. This no is problem. the Song of Solomon, yeah. chapter 1, verse 1 and verse 5. Okay. Now, uh, Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. Right? Song of Solomon. Yes, yeah, Songs of Solomon, mm-hmm. chapter yeah. 1, verse 1 to 5. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Maybe I talk, uh, Otenia was with here. Usu with me be. Bible, no. That's true, no. <laughs> so, what you got? But one funny thing is now, when you come here in Ghana, this bushy now is trending. Right. Yes. We've, we've get to know that Ghanaian men nowadays, of late, are living their beer. Right. Is it right? Are we are we working in the right direction? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're coming are you sure? back to the laws of God is always the right direction. Oh, really? Brother. Yes, sir. So what of me that I used to shave? It's a <laughs> sin if you shave. Come again. It's a sin. It's against the laws of God if you shave your beard. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Oh, really? Oh, now, yes, do you, do you know be here? someone who is not even having beer, mm-hmm. this beer over there, is that person also a sinner? If they're shaving it, yes. But if you grow, if you can't grow a beard, that's not a sin. So we are supposed to grow it. You're supposed to grow your beard, yes, sir. So as well I... as not balding your head, you cannot bald your head. You know how you shave people shave their head. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. That's hey. against the laws of God. Oh, okay, really, Captain, mm. your head is it yes, is it naturally shaved? This is naturally bald. <laughs> He's losing it. <laughs> I'm losing. He losing I'm losing I'm losing my head. Facebook. Facebook. Did you have me with a captain? Is it? Or the man who said the trino with a cow? Let me with an is The trino. Or one was here. Well, as a sanity. What's a sanity? And the answer say, Yeah, before you eat it. We are not supposed to shave our head. Right. 
Let me show you that in the Bible. Okay, so it. let's get into the scripture this and then read it. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Leviticus 21 verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, mm -hmm. neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. That's a law of God that you shall not make baldness on your head, neither shave the corners of your beard. You got to let it grow, bro. God <laughs> gave it to you for a reason. It's, for, it's there for a reason. We ain't supposed to be shaving. But nor, you know, make, go ahead. nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Nor make any cuttings in your flesh. That's go, that goes for tattoos as well as those tribal marks that our people are doing. See, what's happened is mm -hmm. we've been taken away from the laws of God and we have uh, adopted customs of the other nations. None of those things are we supposed to be doing as a people. And we've been taken away from that. But it's time to come back now. You know who took us away, bro? No. Now, oh, I don't know. This uh, image. This image right here. <laughs> I don't know if you can translate this, but this it right here. Ah, yes, this, yes, um, you know. this is the ah. devil that the Bible speaks of. Oh. This right here. Not the black way, man. This guy is the devil the Bible speaks you of. Way, no, and you, yes, way, yeah, devil. He's the yeah. devil. Man, way, give, me that. give me that Job yeah. 9. Job yeah. chapter yeah. 9. You know what's you know <laughs> what bad about this? No. You know what bad about this? No. You got, you say, earlier you say you got kids, right? Yeah. You got your kids growing I'm up with this image in their mind. Your kids growing up with low self-esteem. Your mm -hmm. kids thinking Jesus is white, God is white, the angels is white, the prophet is white, which is a lie. Right. Jesus is black, God is black, the prophet is black. Every man in this Bible is black. Ah, all, all the prophets, all the kings, in, uh, yes, they were black. King Solomon, black. King David, black. The prophets, black. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, black. Adam. Adam, black. Now, you got to teach your kids, this is the devil. That's not right. This is the true image. That's what Jesus Christ looked like. That's the true image. Right. So, when you teach your kid that, you, your kid grow up knowing that they're important, they matter. But when you teach your kid about this, they grow up with low self-esteem. Taking that, you know what? I got no hope. I'm the low in the bottom. An inferiority complex. Inferiority. And that is why... That is why the white men coming here in Ghana stole all your resources and your guys don't say nothing. Right. Because you're thinking they're God. No, they're not God. They are the devil. Go ahead. Oh, really? Yes. You can trust it what I okay, just said. Okay, let, let me read Tell some, the pastors let, let, let me read uh -oh. some messages from, the, from Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, uh, this is coming from Daniela Israel. Daniela mm -hmm. Israel. Yeah. Uh, a P T T M H. That's Shalom Leadership. Uh, that's a M H N C B U. Most High in Christ bless. That's what that means. Okay, that's the meaning. That's oh, the meaning. Before okay. that is all praises to the Most High. It's an acronym. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. And uh, this one is also coming from uh, Av Shalom Israel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it right? Okay. Same person. He said, "Share, share, share." All right. Pastors are scared of the truth. It's very uh, scary. As of one, no crena bomu. As of one, okay. Uh, that's a, I'm seeing it in our la language, right? Right. Okay. Is it bring it out? This one is coming from Lamel Ben Israel. I don't know why uh, those comments I'm reading. Because the Israelites Israel, are waking Israel, up. Israel, 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 Israel. The Israelites because are here. Up. They're waking up, bro. It's Ghana. It's Ghana's turn, man. Gotta come. Gotta gotta wake up, man. Oh, it's Mimi Dino. Uh, do I have to change my name? You, you will oh. change your name when you find out that you're who you really are. Your father is Israel. So what name should I give to myself? Whatever whatever meaning or whatever God puts on your spirit. Who are you? What is your my, what does your name mean now? My name is Henry. Henry, watch this. Atakote Blankson. Junior. My name my That's name is, my full name. Watch this. My name is Abiel. In uh -huh. Hebrew, Abiel means God is my father. I chose that name because he's my father. And what's the meaning of Henry in the scripture? Is it also <laughs> in the scripture? No oh. <laughs> There's no Henry in the Bible. There's no Henry in the Bible. Oh, oh really? There's no Henry. Yes. Oh, really? You get him. Ah. Henry. <laughs> what's your last name again? Cote Blankson. Cote Blankson. Yes. What's your middle name? Are you named after Arthur. the day of the week? No, Arthur Triplet. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. okay. You got a surname in name Israel. That's your exactly. name. Your name was given by the slave master. That's what that name you got come from. Oh, it's really? not come from the Bible. No, they changed our names they to keep us away name. from this. So now nah, tell me, what is my proper name I'm supposed to use? I just want to know. You are a son of Jacob, Israel. That's who you are. You you should surname yourself after your father, Israel. Okay, but real quick, 
get Job because there's an agenda behind this right here. Okay, okay. There's an agenda behind this image. Mm -hmm. Get Job the ninth chapter and the twenty fourth verse. Yeah. Okay. Job. Now that we are, yeah, can can free you go home, ano? Uh, t, uh, right? Are you talking? Are you reading from Job chapter Job. nine? Job yeah. chapter nine, verse twenty four. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Niimu edunu nine. All right. Okay. The earth is given Please. into the hand <laughs> of the wicked. It says this time period we live in now that the whole earth, the whole world, has been given to the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked that rules the earth today? That's my question to you all. Who is controlling everything in the world today? Media, religion, politics, all of these things that controls the world. Who is that man that is the, the earth has been given to today? Some of our people are afraid to say it. Mm -hmm. Some of our people are scared to say who is controlling everything. Who has the military might? Who's giving? Who's putting sanctions on every nation that doesn't do what he tells them to do? Mm -hmm. The so-called white man. When you read the Bible, this is actually Esau, the Idumeans, the Edomites that the Bible speaks of. Mm -hmm. Read that again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Come on. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. And how did he cover the faces of the judges thereof? Look at this, Ghana. Check this out. He changed the true image of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And he made him white so that you wouldn't know who you are, according to the Bible, to take you away from your heritage, to change the names of your people. It's time for us to wake up and come back to who we really are. We are not Ghanaians. We are not African Americans. We're not West Indians. No, God called us the children of Israel. Is that it on that verse? If not, if not, where and who is he? That's my question to all of you in Ghana right now. If this ain't the devil, who is? If this ain't the devil that the Bible speaks of, who is? Who's raped and robbed the whole earth of its resources, of people? Who's enslaved a whole nation, taking their heritage away from them and told them that they're nothing, to told them they were the bottom of society? Who else has done that? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He changes the faces of the judges thereof. Now, I, I want to bring this out, D, because you mentioned that, yeah, you know, the pastor, the pastor just call you. Tell the pastor that. <laughs> <laughs> the pastor is mad. Oh, the pastor call you no. when you're mad. Repent. Tell the pastors to repent. Start keeping God's laws. Let me read Deuteronomy 28, verse 33 for you. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. That's biblical prophecy. That the white man, how you say it, Ibruni? Obruni, Obruni. Obruni. Ah, Kwesi Bruni. Kwesi Bruni. They, they stripped of us our resources. They came in, took everything that was precious unto us, okay. and it benefited them. They enslaved our people, okay. made our children slaves, made okay. them work for nothing. Still to this day, you said it earlier that who who do you get your loans from? Who comes in giving the loans and the credit and all this stuff? The Obruni. That's who does it. And what happened, what happened to us as a nation, we forgot who we were. We wouldn't keep God's commandments, and this was allowed to be done unto us. Maybe I try soon, soon. Ninety-eight point seven FM. And come on, ye din na ni ye the hidden truth that ye unveil from the scripture. Yanga se ye Bible na ye Qurano. And nyoma ehinta wo eni ande na adi ba kuwa e ye dikin Abel e kana se ene ino ubi mo ye gusu enkwa suma ye koe ni na ano. It is said, Obi, a do so, or no natural, dear, only detect the mouth. It be a do this, don't do this. You do this, that is what will be the punishment at the end of the day. And you know, once I or no, a detect the mouth, no chess, or no, it to me a shell so. Now, I dear back work and say, Who is Obroni? Obroni, the infonia in your area, you won't say only Christua. Or no, a be dear so. And while Trim work can't job, woman, job, woman, and me, you won't say, Debbie. Say ni say ni say na echo e wo chile ni. Eti ene no mami musa wo in. Ye ni na say ye be before right. Ye ni na ya see free Israel right. You get it. Okay. Now I don't na em le tin tin we ni na it has been very long time mm -hmm. that now we want to bring out the hidden secret in the scripture. Someone would ask why. Right. They would ask, why bring it out now? Yes. Give me Romans 13 and 11. This is why. Notice, every every question you ask is, where do we go? <laughs> oh, yeah. We go to the, the Bible. Yeah. Because the reason why I'm asking this question is that when you read from Amos 5, chapter 14, if you can read that, 
Amos okay. chapter 5 verse 14. Yes. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Watch this. Just to answer your question okay. real quick. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right For now. now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. We know mm -hmm. Jesus Christ is coming. Mm -hmm. He is going to return to this earth to redeem his people. Right now it is high time for us to awake out of sleep. We're asleep in these nationalities that they've given us. We're asleep in religion, mm -hmm. in their education system. We're asleep in the doctrines that we've been given by the Bruni. Now it's time for us to wake back up to who we really are. We are not uh, Ghanaians. We are not uh, so-called Africans, some of us here. We are the children of Israel. That's who we are, and that's why it's so important for this to come out now. We got to come back. They would say, I'm Bruni. <laughs> Tell them, watch this. Give me Job 8. Watch this. Give me Job 8. Yeah, because someone looking at your color uh -huh. will identify you to be Obruni. It's okay. And guess what? I fix, I fix their face. I'm going to show them the Bible. I'm Israel. You are who your fathers are. You understand? Right. Okay. Watch this. Job 8 and 8, please. Job 8 and verse 8. Read. For inquire, I pray thee. Of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of their father. Who are the Israelites? Those whose fathers mm -hmm. are the children of Israel. So it's okay. through your father's 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 father. Mm -hmm. If your father is Israel, you're Israel. Mm -hmm. Even though some of our fathers might have slept with the Brunis okay. or the other nations, yeah. Moab, whatever the case yeah. is, you are who your father is. We read about that even in Christ's lineage. Uh, we read about that in, with David. Before him, his, their mother was a, was a Moabite. Whatever the case may be, they are the children of Israel, just like I am today. Okay, But so, maybe I talk, my phone lines in it too. <laughs> eh, also, bra, yeah, and eh, we want to make it interactive. Watch now, we'll yes, continue. Sir. Tomorrow, we, we are going to continue. As I said, maybe I talk, dear bra. Now, you need to come with this 0322 95471. 0322 95470. Maybe I talk, also, what's in Bisabia, also, between Bisa, my vida, now, but I feel maybe I'm one or Na any interactive kaka. Me bacho ene ene die. Eh, me bacho. Na yese every Ghanaian is supposed to add the name Israel. Yes, those that are to their names. Yes, those that are descendants of the slave trade, whose people went into okay. slavery, they are the children of Israel. Okay, all right. Me ba. Good morning. Good morning. Me bacho. Did you maybe I can say for you? I'm Benedicta. Calling from Marco. Yeah, Benedicta. Okay. Yes, I want you to to get the the matter we are talking about is very serious issue. Okay. So it's not matter of laughing. I put questions on behalf of your people, especially those people who do not understand English. You are now a representative for your people asking questions. So when you ask questions laughing, it means you are not taking the question very serious. So I just want you to take care and make it serious because this is a serious matter. I want to know why our Lord Father originated from each and every day we have an assumption that he is a white man. Now that you are coming out with the truth, everybody must understand so that you will not pay homage to each white man who has called us a lot. So now that we are free, because point of what our forefathers did, mm -hmm. now this is the truth being coming out. So each and everybody must understand. So you are now representing us. For us to understand what you are saying, that when you take it like it's, it's, it's not something serious, laughing, it's like everybody will just get that. No, what you are saying, what you are saying, you are quoting it from the Bible. So you, as our representative, must also ask good and better questions so that you narrate or translate it in a local dialect. All right. To understand, you? Okay, mom. The reason why I used to add 
laughing small ways is that it's something new getting to people's mind. And sometimes when you are straight on people, it's hardly for them to take what you are saying. So sometimes I used to add this uh, bit jovial way to it to make them understand it, to take it to be in a norm of our local language. So that's the reason why I ask sometimes I do laugh. Not that I'm not taking it serious, but we are learning. Sometimes that is like uh, there's the saying that all works and no play makes jug. Right. Give me, give me <laughs> Psalms 51 and 12. All right. Okay. So that's the reason why. So, Auntie, we, understand. Uh, we are taking it serious, yeah, really but sometimes when something is new to people, you need to follow or you need to add up a bit so that they will take it. So that's the reason why I was a bit laughing. Okay. Check, watch this. I want to read something to you. Watch All right. This. Okay. No problem. Let's go. This is Psalms chapter 51 and verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. This truth, this understanding is supposed to make you happy, bro. <laughs> when you understand who you really are, where yes. you truly come from, okay. it's supposed to restore the joy of the salvation That's that God has given you. So there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Now, as far as from a serious standpoint, okay. this what we're doing here, what you see us going through the scriptures, notice we don't got any notes, but this is from a scholarly level. This is from a level of understanding that only God can give you. So it absolutely needs to be taken serious. Our people got to wake up to this knowledge right here, bro. But it's nothing wrong with laughing. It's okay. We, we're not offended. Yeah. They can have you say, as someone make, you know, or can you not, you know, I'm afraid I'll say, as a message, you know, the Ukrainian will say, and you know, when you know, and say, and it's a woman, I will say, a daddy. It is not a message, and I'm going to say, I say, it was a wolf, you know. It was also what he has here. It is, eh, mommy, eh, no hard feelings. It is, eh, sad humanity. But your mommy for free anyway. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Maybe I should do it, baby. I can say free. Yeah, ma, ma, I can free. I can smile so. Eva, Eva, uh, a very important issue, but a serious issue, but it's not a problem. What is that for? Okay. But, 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 uh, oh, the way you laughing, I don't like it. Anyway, you have to stop laughing. Seriously, you have to stop laughing. Because uh, a big issue, uh, which we don't need to hear much about these issues. So you, don't, you have to take it serious, anyway. Did you have any more I think a serious issue. Let's take it up. So, so, Yes, ah, me, 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 Yes, yes, definitely yes. we definitely want our people to take this serious we don't want anyone to be offended yes. this is life or death brothers and sisters okay. this is our salvation it's time to wake up it's time for us to come together we the same people no matter where we're scattered throughout the earth we are the israelites man yeah they cannot be on. let me pick this call hello good morning good morning yeah maybe i show Okay, Eric. Amen. Amen. But only Jesus, only the acting or acting, and I'm in front of the churning and what the Jesus in the church and Tinisha did a real shame on only Jesus Christ. Because last night, searching the God will bury crown as a But then, surely be brave in the phone in our bubble boy, so in my head, and so many Jesus Christ. But only Jesus, Yanko Pong, Shamu, Susu, my friend, won't be any. Okay. Uh, Amen. We watch all a when you day chat to you best out to a conversation with so now may I do my next week. Me patch up make a time Wednesday, same time 8 to 9 a.m. And no part me patch up cash and so Israel united in Christ. You best out to us so 
to this week same time me patch your cash and so say obey to me a fret number a be a person no more dean come on ages 0207 442316 and now say zero five four zero eighty five ninety two fifty five zero five four zero eight five nine two five five. Make a date with us next week, same day, Wednesday, same time. May patch out. Cash and so say also be to me a share at the amount of a fro. It will S U N S U M T. Okay, so they can captain and then they can Malaki. We are going your last and final word, then we leave. Uh, first and foremost, all praises to the most high. Um, I would like to leave everybody with the website uh, www.israelunite.org. That's www.israelunite.org. Uh, you can come fellowship with us this saturday at 2 45 p.m onward at the culture center here in kumasi that's 2 45 p.m on saturday at the culture center in kumasi uh also uh remember our goal is to unite our people i know when you look at me you look at yourself you're thinking we're different we're no different we are brothers okay. so don't let nobody separate us saying that we're not brothers we're our brothers so we hear the israelite our job is to Wake up the diaspora here in uh, Ghana and Kumasi. We uh, we in Accra also. We got a lot of we got a lot of brothers here, a lot of sisters here. So we want to bring the unity back to Ghana because at the end of the day, we are brothers and sisters. All right. That's right. Yes, sir. So we love you guys. We 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 here because we love you. Let's just That's put right. it like that. We here because we love you. We fly all the way from America to come here to bring you guys the gospel, the good news, <laughs> that Jesus is a black man. That's yeah. right. That's yes. right. God richly bless you. All yes, praises. All we'll meet same times next week. Lord yes. Same Lord time, Lord same Lord day, Lord Lord next week. All right. All God richly bless you. Brother. Sure. All right. We'll always Thank work you. out. We watch your uh, United uh, Israel, united in Christ. Oh. And our two among can. We watch your uh,